On this episode of Hidden Histories, we will explore the cursed city of the monkey god. Explorers ventured into the Honduran rainforest looking for the mythical city, but were said to never come back. Fear grew around the legend, and every upcoming year, fewer and fewer people went in searching for it, since all who did seemed to disappear during their quest. There were no documented sightings of the city until the 1900s. In 1920, pilot Charles Lindbergh flew over the jungle and reported seeing a white city from above. And in 1927, the first academic mention of the lost city was made by Edward Konzimus, an ethnographer from Luxembourg. He wrote a report of the Paya Indians of Honduras and mentioned the discovery of some ruins 25 years earlier by someone who was looking for rubber, but instead got lost between the Palaya and the Plantain Rivers. He said they called it the White City because of its walls and its buildings were all made of white stone. More expeditions were made afterward in search for the magical city. There were no more reports of its existence for a while. Nobody seemed to stumble upon it until Theodore Moore in 1940. Not only did he find the city, he is said to have entered the city and come back with treasures from within its walls. Upon his return home, Moore claimed to have discovered an incredible city during his expedition located in an almost inaccessible area between the Palaya and Plantano rivers. At the center of the city, Mord reported seeing an enormous Monkey King statue. This is the reason the legend was later known as the Lost City of the Monkey God. He said that many stories surrounded the statue and was told it was represented by a supernatural being with enormous strength. According to Moore, the temple had a long staircase filled with monkey effigies and other animal statues that surrounded it, like crocodiles and a colossal image of a frog. He was told the village had been previously inhabited by the Chirotegas more than a thousand years before. His guides told him stories from their culture about a monkey who stole women and bred with them resulting in half-monkey, half-children beings, and recalled that their forefathers were the Yulaks, a great, hairy ape-man who could walk upright. There, the local Indians told him a long, vanished people who were contemporaries of the ancient Mayans, had once worshipped a strange monkey god whose giant statue was still buried under centuries of vegetation. They told him that the people there made bloody human sacrifices to their simian deity, then ate the victims in an act of ritualized cannibalism. Every year, a physically perfect young man, usually a priest, would be selected to be the monkey god for that year. The unknowing victim would be worshipped, pampered, and given the most beautiful girls, but after 12 months, he would be ritually slaughtered at the top of the pyramid temple, his heart torn out of his body and thrown down the steps where it would be cut into pieces. Priests would then distribute it among the worshippers, who would each take a piece home to eat. During Mord's visit, he himself had seen a disturbing rite, in which local natives ritually slaughtered and ate monkeys. One night, Mord watched a group of natives perform a morbid ritual dance in which each of them brandished a spear which was impaled with three spider monkeys. The monkeys were roasted over a fire in such a way that their limbs contracted and withered in the flames as if still alive, and the whole tribe settled down later to eat them. With Mord's expedition, Mord started to believe in the existence of the ancient city again especially since Mord came back with thousands of artifacts that were later exhibited in the Hay Foundation Museum of American Indian in New York City. Shortly after Mord and his group of explorers returned home though, most of them had fallen ill or passed away of strange circumstances. 
sparking the idea that they may have been cursed by the lost city of the monkey god. Later found out that the group actually suffered from pustules and legions that had formed on their faces, necks, arms, and legs. And if the white city really was cursed, as the natives had warned Mord, he may have belatedly paid the price. He committed suicide in circumstances that have never been satisfactorily explained. Mord died, leaving some more vague hints as to where the mythical city was. He said that it lied between the Palaya and Plantain rivers, and after countless expeditions, not one person found the ancient ruins until more than 70 years later. Do you agree with our findings? If not, find your own evidence, do your own research, and share it with us in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to be alerted when new videos are available. Continue exploring the cursed city of the monkey god by watching the next video, part three, Cursed City Found.